Good evening, everyone. It's LB here with uh, War, I think. What is this? War 12, uh, attack number two. I'm going up against their number nine base, which is an industrial age base, but um, it is not a well developed industrial age base. Probably uh, um, looking more like uh, an Enlightenment age base in terms of their defenses. Um, so, my plan is going to be basically to come in uh, from the uh, I think the Northwest going through the oil storage and the fort and try to get in that way and then go around clockwise. So let's see how it goes. All right, I have uh, switched from carrying a betrayal to uh, an extra sabotage because I feel like I want the extra uh, freeze. I've got two generals, Cleopatra and Nobunaga, um, three lancers in my CC, along with three Mahouts and 12 shooters. And uh, I've dropped using the mortar, even though it's the improved mortar. I really seem to have better success just going with the five cannons. And it also allows me to bring uh, five cuirassiers, which I like to have the extra heavy. So basically, eight strong heavies, three weak heavies, and uh, the uh, rest is the usual mix. So let's see how it goes. Uh, they have Acropolis and Colosseum, and their third uh, wonder isn't even built. So, all right. So let's see what we have here. All right, and so we seem to be walking our way around a little bit here. It would get the quick victory. And now I'd like to get out. Oh, I should have waited until I had that up. Uh, Power down, but that's all right. It only looks like it's in pretty good shape getting around. Still have that one. We're going to use it to silence the uh, mortar so that it doesn't uh, hurt our infantry too much. And we've got our heroes going in to take out that redoubt. And now they're going to take out the, uh, the gun while the other, the rest of the army. Uh, cleans up along the side. We have a minute and 18 seconds left, and I think we're looking pretty good here. Okay, everything else is done. We're pretty much in cleanup mode at this point. I have uh, plenty of time left in the clock. This should be an easy five star. 
a little bit of an interesting base in terms of uh, kind of hard to three star because your troops don't want to really um, go in and attack through the double wall. They'd rather seem to go around it. But um, the base left a hole over by those gates on the uh, west uh, on the east side of the base, and that let me get right in there and get the job done. So it all turned out well at the end. And uh, let's take a quick look at the stars going up. And otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching. You can see the score is now 96 to 60 with three hours left. And uh, obviously, uh, we are in pretty good shape. Just looking, we still have Joey Christopher Felix and Marla still have their second attacks to put in. You can see I got uh, pretty much stuffed on my first attack against uh, my assigned base, which was their five. The reason that that happened, just in case you're interested, then we can go scout their five to uh, see, take a look at the base. I attacked from the north um, and came through uh, their temple and uh, tried to go in and get the quick victory by going through the uh, stables and the mortar next to it and then take the base out. And I did that and that worked out fine. Um, but the problem was that my plan was then to pull out and go around clockwise. And um, I ended up putting myself in a crossfire of the mortar to the left of the town hall and the mortar to the right of the town hall um, while I sat in the box where the, their town center is and got hit by um, both mortars at the same time plus you know, the other defenses that were around and supporting troops and stuff. And I, when I tried to rally out, I foolishly tried to rally out around to the clockwise side. And the problem that I had with that was that there are no defenses around to that side. So um, all my heavies rallied out fine. Um, I mean, I took some casualties from the crossfire of the mortars and that was, you know, um, not a great thing. Uh, for starters, and I might have even lost my uh, supply carts and cannons early because of it. But then, to make matters worse, um, because there were no defenses around to the side, I ended up, uh, all my heavies just ran right back into the same hole again, where they got pummeled by the crossfire of all the various defenses, and um, before you knew it, my army was dog meat. And so, that's a, a little bit of a tricky thing. I've um, recommended to other people who are going to try to attack the space to be very careful about that crossfire issue and um, take a look at attacking the space. I think more from even though there's an extra wall to go through there, I think you're really better off attacking it from either the west side or the east side. And probably the east side is the is the axis of attack to really come come in here because coming in from the east you can kill. These two mortars on the east side of the base re relatively quickly penetrate that wall and still get in there. Um, if you can put a quick uh, freeze on their fort, you can kill the fort before the um, he uh, heroes pop too. So really, my axis of attack was poor. And I think looking at this again, if I were to attack this base again, there'd be no doubt but that I would attack this base from the east side of the base and um, work my way in that way. Anyway, there you go. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for your time, and uh, happy, uh, happy dominating, <laughs> I guess.